YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, Deja Alex Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. Smell good family. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock out here on this channel, man. Positive vibes only. All right, so I'm excited today. I'm excited. Very looking forward to this video. Um, we have two brand new designer fragrances that just hit the market. I think they are readily available um, out at your local uh, retailers. Um, but one of the fragrances is a flanker of one that I really love. I really enjoy wearing it and I've been wearing it a lot. Um, and the second one is a continuation of uh, a flanker, a flanker from one of the more legendary lines um, and all the fragrances for sure. So we get ready to tap in. Um, appreciate you guys for all your support and all your love. We just cracked 19,000 subscribers. And, um, you know, I'm very grateful, very thankful for all your support. It really means a lot to me, man. I do not take it for granted. So thank you, Smega family, for all your support. So stay tuned to the end of the video because we are going to be, nah, we ain't gonna wait to the end. We're gonna do a giveaway. Let's go ahead and jump into it for sure. So the fragrances we're discussing today, we're gonna smell a sample. Shout out to my girl, Miss Heather. If you're in the Jacksonville area and uh, out at the town center and um, um, in the Dillard's out that way, stop by and holler at Miss Heather and uh, she'll get you right for sure. So shout out to my girl, Miss Heather, for uh, helping me out uh, with these samples so we can get our noses on them. So we're going to be discussing up first from the house of Yves Saint Laurent. We're going to be uh, smelling the new uh, YSL Myself uh, Le Parfum. Here's a sample. And I'm going to smell this and then we're going to give one away so that's correct i have two samples right here in my hand and one of these is going to go to a lucky winner but stay tuned to the end of the video uh to get the details on how you can enter to win this brand new never touch sample of the new ysl myself Lay parfum all right so let's go ahead and tap in um and then we're going to smell the second fragrance right after that so let me rip mine open all right and here's my uh, I think they come like these are like two in males or something like 1.7. I don't know, but no, yeah, 1.7 mil, 2.7 mil. But here it is my sample set of the new Y cell, my self Le Parfum. And let's see what we get because I enjoy the the first edition. In the air, smells like myself, orange blossom, a sweetness there. I think it comes from an amber. At least from the original there are some there are some differences in the air slight differences but it, it smells like the edp that's what it smells like in the air and the point i am in my journey i sample 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 especially you know when it's you know adding to my collection because i'm trying to stay away from redundancy i don't want any in my collection i've done that quite a bit of enough in my earlier days of collecting um but we're minute we're moving in a different type of uh, a vibe, you know what I mean? To, you know, have, you know, a collection that, hey, each one of these are their own thing. So, will we get the late Parfum? Even though we have the EDP, let's see. Okay, a little bit more of a spicier take to the uh, DNA. Also, the, um, see, to, for me, and this has to be the patchouli in here unless they added something else. We'll look up the notes in a second. But the patchouli in the original, it, it's fine. It really doesn't appear like that on my skin, but here it does. It's definitely that synthetic designer patchouli feel. Smells good, but I definitely notice it. So more spicier, earth, earthier tones here with that white floral, orange blossom, ambery sweetness here. But it's more of the spices in the patchouli and then everything else is kind of underneath that. So. Maybe that's the take that they were going for with this Lay Parfum. I'm not really sure. One, it smells really, really good. Two, will I wear it? Absolutely. Three, will I add it to my collection? I'm not sure. I'm not sure because I'm not getting a significant split from the Lay Parfum to probably even consider adding this to my collection unless I get it for like a steal of steals. But um, let's continue to see what's up. So I would say this is a more, um, probably more mature version of um, the DNA because the EDP, man, you got, I mean, it's it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's sweet from the amber, the white floors really pop. Um, like I said, the patchouli really doesn't really show up on my skin from the original. 
The original is mass appealing. This one is too. I can see a lot of people loving this and you know gravitating towards this fragrance for sure. Um, but there's going to be a difference of opinion there because if you're not really with those spices um and and that patchouli witness it has to be patchouli i haven't looked up the nose but we're about to um i'm assuming the spice is a pepper black pepper spice because it's like it tickled my nose in the beginning and didn't come off as a pink pepper spice or oh, it could be pink pepper because pink pepper gives you a little sweetness too but let's go ahead and look up the notes why well, sell myself lay parfum okay so according to Fragrantica, all right, main accords, a woody, ambery, fresh, spicy, patchouli, vanilla, hmm, white floral, warm, spicy, citrus, sweet, balsamic fragrance. In the notes, top note, black pepper, so there's your spice trend. In the mid, orange blossom, there's, that's present in the uh, original. And then in the base, you get patchouli, amber, and vanilla, bourbon vanilla, okay. So that bourbon vanilla is really present. Like it's a, it's a more sweeter. Um, this late parfum, I'm getting more of a, a, a thick, like a thick sweetness to it compared to the um, original, where that ambery sweetness kind of comes off, kind of, um, kind of almost airy like. Um, and then a woods present in here as well. Let's go to the original and see how different the notes are because I know patchouli is an original, and like I said, I don't get. Uh, much patchouli at all so the original okay bergamot orange blossom umbrophics and patchouli all right so no amber here um hmm, but i definitely get an ambery sweetness uh for sure huh so definitely to my nose i definitely get you know the differences between the two for sure so the edp is going to be that bubblegum sweetness mass appealing fan favorite fun right away you love spray and go it depends if you like it then the lay parfum to my nose a little bit more spicier tones um especially in the opening start to really dry down or get away from that as this continues to dry down and then you get this patchouli presence at least i do on my skin that is present yeah, the patchouli, the woods, really present with that bourbon, vanilla, and amber, because that's what I'm really getting with the white florals kind of hovering around uh, those notes. Smells good. Don't know if I'll get a bottle. I think I'm good with the EDP for now, but I am going to wear this sample and just kind of see, wear it out and about, kind of see what it does with the full wearing. So rating this right out the rip, I'm, I'm going to give it a, uh, an 8 out of a 10. I'm going to give it a 7.9, 8 out of a 10. It does smell good. Most fragrances do, and this is another one. But adding it to the collection, I'm not sure. You know, we'll revisit that at a later date. I'll let you know my full thoughts after I wear this sample. Um, but all in all, I might be good with the EDP, but this does smell good. It does smell good. So 7.9 out of a 10 is what we'll give while I sell myself late parfum. Differences in the spices and the patchouli, and a little bit more of a sweeter take with that bourbon vanilla dancing with that amber, all right? All right, so next up from the house of Raban, I have this sample here. We're going to be some of the new, uh, I think it's called Million Gold. Million Gold from Raban. Here's my uh, decanter, and I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put this in a, a Creed tester for me because <laughs> she is the lady of Creed where she is. So here is my decanter, uh, Paco de Raban. I'm going to not show the Creed here. So Paco Raban Million Gold sample. Let's get this on skin. And we all know the One Million DNA classic house, man. Some of my favorites are um, One Million Lucky is my favorite, Privé. Um, a lot of people love the Parfum. I think the Parfum is good. Um, and it's the, the, the Oud, there's so many of them, so many. So let's get this on the, uh, my right hand here. A couple sprays. Not gonna lie, not super excited, but you know, it's new. Some of you might be. Ooh, and then I'm talking about uh, dry cedar wood in the air. What? Dry cedar wood in the air, like the most woods experience ever from a one million. This is this is not what I thought it was going to be at all. Wow, this is okay. Let's see what's up. Yeah, you're um. Uh, Okay. Definitely cedar wood. Uh, uh, definitely a uh, synthetic designer cedar wood tone. 
There's a sweetness is still there. I'm not sure if that's vanilla. I'm leaning towards vanilla. It could be amber or tonka bean because it's come off a little bit powdery behind this woods. The woods are in the front. If it is cedar wood, which I'll be shocked if it's not, but the cedar wood's in the front and then the sweetness is behind it, kind of like hugging the woodsy tones with this fragrance. Maybe a fresh spicy kick, maybe? It does smell good, not my cup of tea. I can tell you right now, um, I, I won't be looking to add this to my collection. I appreciate what Raban did here, trying to give a different spin on the DNA, like they did with Oud, which is good, like they did with Royal. Um, I think that's what it's called, One Million Royal with the white florals uh, added to the DNA, which I like that one. I don't have it, but I do like it. But I guess they're trying woods here with the DNA. Let's see what this is all about. Um, I don't think it's for me. Um, but for those who are really, really interested, of course, we're doing this uh, first impressions. It's important to talk about it. So main accords, according to Fragrantica, we got woody, warm, spicy, citrus and powdery accords. And the main notes of this fragrance did I pass? Oh, here we are. Main notes, cedar wood, mandarin, orange, sandalwood and spices. So. I don't know where the sweetness, I mean, I guess the, I guess the mandarin orange is coming off sweet enough to dance with this sandalwood. It, it does have a, a creaminess, I almost come off a little coconutty. But yeah, it definitely has a creaminess to it. Spices, I guess that's where that fresh spicy tone is coming from is where, where, what I was getting. But the, the, the story here is woods and, and I'm guessing the mandarin orange and sandalwood, it definitely comes off a little ambery and vanilla-like to me. Um, it's drying down. It's it smells nice. It's not for me though. Um, it kind of reminds me of something though. I can't really, can't really. It reminds me of something that's already out there. And a lot of these designers, they kind of dance around what's already been created. Um, but it's definitely reminded me of something. Yeah, woods and sweet. Um, the, the spice kick that was there in the opening is gone already off my skin. I think people will like this. I think people will go out and smell this and just cause it's a one million, a Raban flanker, um, a Raban one million flanker, I think people will be interested and want to see what it's about. Um, I've had to rate it, I'll give it a seven out of a 10, a, a seven out of a 10. Woodsy and, and sweet. Um, don't don't get an orange sensation for those who may ask. Do I, you know, because orange is a uh, a very interesting note. Um, it can be done so many different ways. You know, especially with clementine, tangerine, mandarin, and I don't get an orangey sensation. More sweet. So maybe the fruitiness of that, um, uh, the fruitiness of that in here with the sandalwood is giving me that vanilla ambery smell. That's what I'm getting. Slightly powdery tones. The cedar wood is starting to kind of fall in line with the sweetness. But all in all, it, it's not for me. It's not for me, it's, it's cool. Um, it's gonna sell. Uh, people are gonna be interested because it's Paco Bond 1 million. Uh, but not for me. Uh, don't see a bottle of that in my uh, foreseeable future. Um, but it smells good. 99.9% uh, of all fragrances do. Um, but it smells good. And uh, looking forward to hearing how y'all feel about the new Raban uh and the new why sell myself for short down below in the comments all right so it is giveaway time so i give uh gave why sell myself 7.9 out of 10 and i gave the new raban million gold a 7 out of a 10. so brand new never used why sell myself lay parfum to celebrate 19,000 subscribers um and honestly if i didn't get two of these i, I don't know if i would have been doing a giveaway for 19 because we're focused on 20k we've been talking about it on the live streams and in the videos for sure so here we are all you got to do in this video you got to put smell good family smell good family pound smell good family with an emoji of your choice unless it's like a middle finger emoji then i'm probably gonna block you 
or ask you if you're Stone Cold Steve Austin. But pound smell good family, pound smell good family and any emoji of your choice. We'll keep this up for one week. Um, YouTube picker will pick a winner randomly and we'll get this sent out um, to uh, the lucky winner who's gonna receive this never before you sample of the new YSL myself. Uh, Le Parfum, which I think is a good fragrance. I, th I think it's good. I like the DNA. Um, and somebody, you know, we'll see how you feel about it when you win this. All right. So that's going to wrap up today's video. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for all the support. Thank y'all for the love. 19,000 subscribers. Wow. Um, when I started this channel, I just didn't think this far down the line. I'm really enjoying this journey, having a blast, having a lot of fun. Um, I love fragrances. I love male grooming. I love everything that comes along with it. I've met a lot of beautiful people um in, in, in this short time here on youtube so definitely appreciate y'all man so enter the giveaway let me know your thoughts on the fragrances if you smelled them and uh you know we'll catch you guys on the next one all right so as always positive energy positive vibes be cool be safe take care of yourselves smack it up smack it down smack that thing all around and remember what you put onto this world is exactly what you are going to get back y'all be cool be safe Spam! peace